pressure on the Senate now after the House passed a bill, more than tripling the amount of money in COVID relief millions of Americans could soon receive. This as medical experts warn of an even wider COVID spread stemming from millions of Americans traveling for the holiday season. And Deborah Alfaron brings us the very latest from Capitol Hill. Are suspended. The bill is passed. The Democratic-led House passed a bill to increase stimulus checks to $2,000 for millions of eligible Americans. Now it's up to the Republican-led Senate to approve it or defy President Trump. The president held out on signing the COVID relief bill for five days out of concern that $600 check wasn't enough. Is $600 enough to get you? Oh, that's gas money. That's gas money. That's about it. The Senate could vote on the new bill as soon as today, but those $2,000 stimulus checks would inflate the total COVID relief bill to more than a trillion dollars. Many Senate Republicans have expressed concern about increasing spending. I am telling Donald Trump, don't just talk about it, act. These Senate Republicans have followed you through thick and thin. Get them now to act. While the fight over money continues, the fight against COVID-19 intensifies. According to the CDC, more than 11 million doses of the vaccine have been shipped out across the country, but just more than 2 million people have been vaccinated. In California, the outbreak is so bad, the U.S. military is sending dozens of doctors and nurses to help. And new startling statistics, COVID has killed one out of every 1,000 Americans. Experts say a crush of holiday travelers is prompting fears of yet another surge. I think we're now in a viral tsunami. With New Year's Eve days away, L.A.'s mayor is urging people to stay home. Officials say Los Angeles County ICUs are completely full. And on average, up to 600 people are testing positive every hour. And back here in the territory, an investigation is underway into a shooting incident that's left four people injured. Sunday night, officers were made aware of a shooting near a restaurant in Smith Bay involving four male victims. Now, according to reports, officers came into contact with one of the victims at Roy Lester, who said he was in a physical altercation with an unknown black male in the area of Smith Bay when he was shot. Now, the other three gunshot victims also arrived at the RLSH, and each victim said they were not involved in any fight or altercation when shot. Now, none of the victims have any clue who fired these shots. The first victim sustained a laceration to the face from the altercation and a gunshot wound to the abdomen. The second victim sustained two gunshot wounds to the left arm. The third victim sustained a gunshot wound to the left thigh and asked for the fourth victim. He sustained a gunshot wound to the left hip. Reports state that all victims have since been listed in stable condition. And VIPD is asking anyone with any information to please come forward and call that number there on your screen. And meantime, over the weekend, the European Union rolled out the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, while another vaccine could soon see approval. And Ian Lee brings us more. One of the first shots in Europe of the new COVID vaccine came with a dose of humor. If it doesn't work, this Danish man tells his doctor, I'll come haunt you. The EU rolled out the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine over the weekend, and many countries didn't skip a beat. People were lined up immediately to get the shot, like 101-year-old Gertrude Haas, who became the first person in Germany. And while the EU is rolling out a vaccine days after the U.S., Europe's health system may have an edge. The problem that everybody's facing is how to get turn a vaccine into a vaccination, how to go from having a little vial into doing some real good. And that's where a lot of the most difficult politics are going to be, but it's also an area where I think we can expect most of Europe is going to be doing better than the United States by the end of January. The vaccine also brought along a sense of hope to a continent that's seen more than 15 million COVID cases and over 335,000 deaths. This comes as a third vaccine is expected to get a green light. Officials here in the UK will likely approve one produced by Oxford University and drug maker AstraZeneca in the coming days. That vaccine, along with the one produced by Moderna, are still waiting EU approval, while health officials hope to inoculate all adults throughout the 27 member states by next year. We can start traveling, meeting our friends and family again. 
and have normal holidays which we all long for. But until then, we have to continue being careful. Important advice as the world finally moves closer to ending the pandemic. And with the new year just around the corner, New York City is gearing up for New Year's Eve with the annual confetti test on Tuesday ahead of the famous New Year's Eve celebration. Due to the ongoing pandemic, New Year's Eve 2021 in Times Square will not be open to the public this year, but approximately one and a half tons of confetti will be released on New Year's Eve and will include thousands of wishes from individuals who have submitted them on the mobile wishing wall or by sharing the New Year's Eve wish on Twitter and Instagram. All wishes submitted after the 28th 